Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Three Borders Sports Network. I'm Joe Schreiner, joined here by Chad Affield. Good evening, Chad. Good evening, Joe. All right, welcome, everybody, to Three Borders Sports Network. Welcome, everybody, to Breckenridge High School tonight, home of the Cowgirls, as they take on the visitors from Clinton. Graceville Beardsley. CGB, right? The Wolverines, I believe. The Wolverines are in town, so how about that? The uh, Wolverines, Chad, coming in here. Uh, they're in second place in the south section 6A. Both teams in section 6A. CGB is in the uh, south, south division. Breckenridge is in the north division. CGB is right behind BBE, Belgrade, Bruton, El Rosa, and uh, overall record of 13 and five. So they're yeah. sitting in second place. Breckenridge with an overall record of 15 and four, seven and two in section 6A north. And uh, we're going to have a good volleyball match tonight, this, Chad. This should be really good, Joe. Yes. I think good we are going to we're going to have a dandy here. The uh, second to last game here at home for the uh, Cowgirls here, and uh, their last game will be uh, here on the seventh. No, Thursday. Thursday, Joe. That. Uh, Wait, 13th. I got. Yep. There you go. I got that too yeah. far away here. That's what I'm doing. I got to look at the right schedule. Thirteen. Yeah. They go to. How about that? They go to DJ. Uh, yeah. Frazee is here on Thursday, yes, yep. yes. and then they're at DGF for their last game. And then they go to a Fergus tournament on the, on the uh, next Thursday, Joe. Okay. I didn't have That's that on my schedule, man. Senior night will be Thursday night, Joe. Senior Once night. again, welcome everybody to the Hornstein Family Chiropractic pregame show. Hornstein Family, Family Chiropractic. Dr. Andrea works for men and women of all ages, and she also has a chiropractic acupuncture as a possible alternative. Stop and see Dr. Andrea on Dakota Avenue in downtown Wapiton. Hornstein Family Chiropractic pregame show again. Breckenridge coming in at 15 and four overall. Had a have had a good season. They're like I said, sec or third place in section 6A North. And CGB coming in at 13 and five, 11 and three in section play, and second place in the South standings. We're going to take a break, Chad. And when we come back, we'll have more of our Hornstein Family Chiropractic show coming right after this. Have you ever considered chiropractic for your family? Dr. Andrea and the staff at Hornstein Family Chiropractic love to see families. With 16 years of experience seeing brand new babies, pregnant women, toddlers, teens, athletes, she cares for your family like it's her family. Join Hornstein Family Chiropractic at 715 Dakota Avenue in Wapiton and we will help your family grow up healthy. Call 701-672-1300 for the next soonest available appointment because at Hornstein Family Chiropractic is a family affair. Thank you. Thank you. Every bank Have wants you, you to open an account. Sign up. Right here. Then along come sneaky fees. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> exactly why you should compare your bank to Bell Bank. At Bell, we don't nickel and dime you with fees on things like checking accounts and ATMs. If you hate sneaky fees, switch to a bank you'll love. And give sneaky fees the boot. Bell Bank. Bundling auto and home insurance is a great way to save money and precious time. Amanda Frederick, your State Farm agent in Breckenridge, will make it easy and convenient with your local, fully licensed staff ready to help make sure you're protecting the things that mean the most to you. Their team is ready and knowledgeable in farm insurance, life insurance, business, home, and auto insurance. So stop by or call Amanda Frederick, your State Farm agent on Minnesota Avenue in Breckenridge, or call 643-8511. Washing your car just got a whole lot cheaper. With All Seasons Car Wash Unlimited plans, you can wash your car whenever you want for as little as $29.99 per month. You can even wash your pet at All Seasons Car Wash. So this winter, keep your vehicle and your pet clean with help from All Seasons Car Wash. Conveniently located at 1300 4th Avenue South, next to Tractor Supply Company in Wapadon. To enroll in an unlimited car wash plan, please visit allseasonscw.com. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Then and down the road. 
Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Your Thrivent and Will Ulick provides clarity for where you are today, confidence for where you go tomorrow. Thrivent combines financial expertise with purpose-based planning to help you with where you are today and where you want to be tomorrow. At Thrivent, Will Ulick can help you address a variety of complex subjects to meet your unique wealth management needs, from retirement planning to investment management and estate planning. Thrivent, what are you invested in? Thrive with purpose. Thrivent and Will Ulick supports all area sports teams and wishes them the best of luck. Three Rivers Crisis Center is offering support to survivors of domestic violence, sexual violence, and child abuse in Richland County for now over 25 years. It's free and strictly confidential, 24-7 access to support and resources including counseling. Get help, identify abuse, plan for safety, support others, and get involved. Three Rivers Crisis Center's 24-hour crisis line is 701-642-2115. Welcome back, everybody, to the Hornstein Family Chiropractic Pre-Game Show. Dr. Andrea works with men and women of all ages and also has chiropractic acupuncture as a possible alternative. Stop and see Dr. Andrea down on Dakota Avenue in downtown, beautiful Dakota Avenue, yes. downtown Wapita. Downtown Wapita. Joe Schreiner, Chad Affield here, Three Borders Sports Network. Thanks, everybody, for joining us tonight. I think we're going to have a dandy here tonight, Chad. I really do. I do, too, Joe. Yeah, all right. You know, two good teams battling, Joe, so that's what you want this part of the season, too, Joe. Yep, 13-5 and five overall, 11-3 and three in the section, comes in CGB, and the uh, Cowgirls coming in at 15-4 and four overall, 7-2 and two in Section 6A. Not only was I battling the pep band, I was battling my own music there, wasn't I? How about that? Yeah, it's pretty cool, and it's a fun atmosphere here at... Uh, Breckenridge High School when the pep band is here. It's always fun. And uh, senior night on Thursday night, too, Thursday. Chad. Thursday night, senior night. Too. How about yes. that? So we got that coming up here, and we'll have that here on Three Borders Sports Network as well. If you've never had a uh, subscription to our YouTube channel, we'd sure appreciate you doing that. Uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll click on the little bell icon, and you'll get notified whenever we go live. We want to thank the folks from CGB that are joining us here tonight. Had some parents come by, and... Uh, ask us uh, when we were going to go live and uh, hopefully the CGB folks have joined us here tonight. You think Aunt Sophie's watching? I'm sure Aunt Sophie's there and I'm sure Karen and Carly Kappas are there and uh, several others that just don't uh, don't want to share their names and don't want their name on uh, on the YouTube and our uh, uh, our YouTube channel but um, we appreciate all of our faithful viewers and again welcome to those of you in Wolverine country. So again, uh, if you want to send us a text, I'll give you a text number you can send it to. It's 701-640-2619. Once again, it's 701-640-2619. You can uh, shoot me a text, tell me who you're cheering for and uh, where, you're, where you're texting from. That'd be great. Once again, 701-640-2619. Chad. I just subscribed, Joe. You did. Well, that's good. You never... you. Never I subscribed, uh, huh? Not, evidently not, Joe. Well, apparently think. not. <laughs> well, thank you. We yes. appreciate that. Oh, yeah. All right, folks. Uh, tonight, uh, talking to uh, Margaret Wilson here in our pregame show, She uh, she's looking out for Jess Moberg. She's a senior here for the Wolverines. And you and I were watching her here before we <laughs> came on here. And that girl, Chad, your yeah. motto is? Hit it hard, Joe. Hit it hard and... She can hit it hard. She can hit it hard, Joe. She can. Yep. So yep. Jess Mulberg is the one that uh, Coach Wilson was going to look out for here. And, of course, there's other good players on that squad, too, as well, Coach, when they've got the Coach, kind of record. Coach's kid? Yes. Coach's daughter? Coach's daughter, yep. Kid? And uh, Margaret also said that we just got to play to our level, right. and we have to play to our speed. So that's what Margaret's keys to the game were here, Chad. And uh, yep. um, it, it, it's going to be an interesting uh, situation here and a good game tonight, I'm sure. One other highlight here, we're going to take a quick 30-second break before we come back for the opening uh, introductions and our national anthem. Chad, Abby Johnson, just 14. 14 to tie. Kills to tie the record set by Cameron Kaler last year. 
15 <laughs> to break the record. So we're going to have some excitement here tonight if she gets that done. It's close, Will, yeah. It's, so it's, there we are. <laughs> we have that to look forward to. We're excited to follow that and have it on Three Borders Sports Network as well. Chad, let's take a 30-second break, maybe okay. even a minute, okay. and we'll be right back with the Thriving Starting Lineups. Thanks for joining us on our Hornstein Family Chiropractic pregame show. At OSPTI, our focus is on each individual's therapy needs, whether it be for speech, occupational, or physical therapy services. I'm Becky, a physical therapist at OSPTI, and I love being able to provide that personal care to each person that we see with clinics in Breckenridge, Hankinson, and Fergus Falls. You don't have to travel very far from home. From infants to athletes to adults, you can request OSPTI to meet your therapy goals. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> the band is here. We Joe. have got the band here. We got the guitars going. We got the drums going. And we got wind instruments, too, as well. What a fun atmosphere here, Chad. It's yep. fun tonight oh, at fun, Cowgirl Gymnasium. And again, uh, Thursday, we expect a big crowd for senior night. And uh, we're going to have all of our usuals tuned in watching as well. And uh, it's going to be a good night. I think Jeannie's even watching tonight. Oh, yeah. I'm sure we'll hear from her. <laughs> I'm trying, Jeannie. <laughs> All right. The uh, Cowgirls defeated Holly Nuggets in uh, three straight sets here. They won 3-0, uh, defeating Holly last Thursday, 25-17, 25-21. And they had to go a little bit of overtime against Holly, 27-25. I told Coach Watson, I've never I've been here for all the home games, Joe. I've yep. never gone more, th more than three. So and it, when it was 20, it was 23, 20, 23, 20, or 24, 21, something yep. like that. Yeah. And Brett came back and, and, and pulled it out at the end. So. It, was, it was pretty wild, <laughs> wasn't it? It was. So we're getting ready for our national anthem. And uh, the starting lineups brought to you by Thrivent and Will Ulick. Thrivent, what are you invested in? Thrive with purpose. We're going to turn the microphone over to PA announcer Art Grocco. National Anthem as we honor America and our military members at home and abroad that have done so greatly for our country. We appreciate everything that they have done. What a great job by Emily Christensen and Andrew Smith, student teacher. And now we'll turn it over to PA announcer, Art Grocco.
more girls circled in this slide. What's her name? All right, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, let's meet the guests on our scoreboard. Clinton Graceville Beardsley Wolverines. First, for our non-starters, number one, Abby Sigler. Number five, Elena Andrews. Number six, Allison Stevie. Number seven, Matea Gibson. Number 11, Macy Anderson. Number 15, Berkeley Herberg. Number 17, Jordan Wright. Number 18, Emily Kellen. Number 22, Gracie Grebner. And now for your starters, number two, Makaya Hennessy. Number three, Jessica Moberg. Number four, Grace Cardwell. Number nine, Addison Ward. Number 10, Haley Ward. Number 13, Anna Murphy. And your libero, number 30, Chloe Cardwell. Coaches, Christy Moberg, Kayla Holtz, and Kayla Moberg. And now at this time, let's meet the Cowgirls sixth grade varsity buddies. Colin Hout. Ava Janing. Ellie Rezac, Chloe Roberts, Sydney Tischer. And now let's meet the Cowgirls non starters. Number four, Emma Atzler. Number five, Kennedy Schuler. And number six, Grace Nicholson. Number 11, Parker Yegi. Number 13, Coley Schuler. Number 18, Ivy Oshock. And now for your starters. Number one, Abby Johnson. Number two, Haley Hansen. Number seven, Addie Twidwell. Number eight, Matea Vig. Number 10, Caitlin Kaler. Number 12, Kelsey Sorol. And your libero, number 16, Sydney Roberts. Coaches, Margaret Wilson, Alicia Finkroll, Missy Johnson, and Brianna Dower. Back to my perch here, Chad, and uh, yeah, we'd like to thank Art for doing it. For yeah, us, that's too. pretty cool. It works out pretty good for us, and uh, well, I'm not trying to talk over him at the no, same time, yes. yep. and uh, so it, it works out well that we can do that, and uh, Art's yeah. more, more than gracious to do that yep. for no, us. Yeah, we did that when you were gone too. I'm yep. Coach Washington too. So no, I was gone. I wasn't you here. You took while well, you were. You did were I? Work, you were actually not here. You were working. But yeah, yeah, I know. But I wasn't here. <laughs> I haven't missed many girls' no, games, but. No. Uh, uh, yeah, I was uh, in the beat tractor. I was running okay. the harvester, buddy. All right. Uh -huh. Somebody, so, somebody yeah. has to do that, Joel. Somebody's got to do it, yeah. All right, so that's going to be the completion of your starting lineups there. Brought to you by Thrivent and Will Ulick. Thrivent, what are you invested in? Thrive with purpose. Our scoreboard is always brought to you by Farmers Union Insurance. And we are about ready to go. Our opening serve brought to you by Gripper Sports in downtown Wapiton. Sydney Roberts digs that one out in the back row. Vig with the kill, dug out in the back. Ooh. 
Woodrow. And a point for the Wolverines. Big block by Moberg and somebody else up in the front, Joe. Twidwell. I didn't have the liberals number, uh, Chloe Cardwell, number 30. So I apologize for that little delay in my delivery. And now serving is Micaiah Hennessy. Back set over to Kaler, Cameron's younger sister. And Allen hits the net and falls down for a point for the Cowgirls. We're tied at one, Chad. Yes. You said younger sister of Cameron, right? Is that, it, is that what I said? Who's got the record. Yep. And uh, Abby's chasing it. Cameron, science must be playing tonight, Joe. I don't see Cameron in the house. I don't see Cameron in the house. I think they must be. Or they're traveling somewhere. Yeah. Cameron Kaler. And that one goes out of bounds there on that one there by Jessica Moberg. <laughs> and a point to the Cowgirls. And there's the power that we yep. see. And uh, I'm sure hard, she'll, she'll be hitting them inbounds <laughs> sooner or later. She gave a thumbs up to Coach, her mom. There's an... Ace going to drop in. Nice little pancake dive there for Haley Ward, but just couldn't quite come up with it. And uh, three to one now in favor of the Cowgirls. Again, uh, Caitlin Kaler, younger sister of Cameron. Is a, is a kill by Mulberg. Here comes Abby Johnson for a kill attempt, and it's in. There's kill number one. <laughs> We're both going to keep track of that yeah, tonight, Chad. Yeah. I think everybody else is in the house, too, probably. <laughs> I know her mom is over there well aware of it. Coach Wilson also. And again, another one into the net. And CGB unable to handle it as that one rolled off the net and fell down for a point for the Cowgirls. It's 5-1. A good start by the Cowgirls, Joe. Got yep. a good start. And Kaler into the back row. Coming over again to Mulberg. She'll just tap it over the net. So a free ball here for the Cowgirls. Vig's going to push it over. At the net, little dink over the net. They're good save by Sorrell and into the net. Addie Twidwell got her first one for Aunt Sophie. There you go. <laughs> and it's a 6-1 to one lead. It's a Cowgirl Jumping out to a big advantage here early, Chad. I'm sure Coach Wilson's got to be happy, happy about that. Yeah. Here comes Moberg with the slap and out of bounds. So she's hit two from that spot, and both of them have gone out of bounds. Just a little bit off right now. The timing's just a little bit off, Joe. But like you said, I'm sure she'll, uh, she'll figure it <laughs> out. Figured the, figured the timing out. And... Caitlin Kaler having a nice little run here. Over to Moberg again. She's got to push it over. Sorol sets over to Abby Johnson for a number two attempt. That one's dug out there by... The Wolverines blocked at the net, but it's going to bounce out of bounds. Vig and Twidwell were there on that Moberg kill, and it went off their hands out of bounds. Hit it hard, Joe. <laughs> yeah, she sure does. Hit hard out of bounds. And, yeah. Haley Ward back to serve now for CGB. A little confusion between Sydney and Kaler, but Twidwell gets it over on the third hit. Free ball here now. And that one's going to go way out on the kill attempt over there by Addie Ward. So the Cowgirls with a comfortable, at this time, a comfortable 8-2 lead. Addie Twidwell to serve. Just couldn't clear the tape. Yeah, unforced, Joe. Yep, unforced error. So Addie's going to come out of the game as Sydney comes back in. Sydney Roberts, the libero. Jersey. And they subbed over here too, Joe. Oh, I missed it. Who number, came in? Number five, I think, came in, Joe. Nine, okay. four, and seven. Are Elena all, so Andrews. I think it's number five. She's back serving. Okay, she's back serving as Elena Andrews, a senior for. They don't have any heights on the Wolverines roster. What's the height of your wife, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Jeannie. Sorry. To the near side, Moberg out of bounds again. <laughs> She's had three of them now that she's tried to get in over there, Chad. And that, that one went out the backside. It went out the back. But I like it, Joe. They know where their main gun is, Joe. Yep. And they're, they're going to feed keep, keep feeding her, Joe. So Oshock checks in along with Parker Yegi. Parker back to serve. Set to the near side. Here's Moberg. A little tap over and a big attempt there by Abby Johnson that goes in for a point. Swing hard, swing hard, swing hard, Joe, and then just kind of tap it over. Yep. <laughs> a smart play. Yep. As uh, 
Jessica Moberg goes back to serve now from the back line. Kayla Diggs, Parker sets up Ivy Oshock. Nice dig in the back row there by Haley Ward. Two sets of sisters on the Wolverine squad. Killed, Abby digs it right back. Nice block at the net for the Wolverines. Set in the middle, out. Set in the middle there was for Anna Murphy. It was a little bit long. Yeah, just a little bit off. The whole team's just a little bit off yet, Joe, but once they get the hang of it, Joe, it's going to be... Abby's a career digs leader and possibly soon a career kills leader for the Cowgirls. They say it was out, yeah. outside the antenna. Is that what it was? Yeah, I think we got, we got a timeout here, no. Chad. No, no. Or what did they say? Yeah, it's a timeout on the floor. So we'll take a timeout as well, and this one's going to be brought to you by Carlson Family Insurance. Second Avenue in Wapiton. Customer service and satisfaction is their number one goal. Anytime is a good time, and it's a timeout to see Carlson Family Insurance. Insurance is an important safety net for your family, your home, and your business. Carlson Family Insurance Agency is your local auto owner's insurance provider. At Carlson Family Insurance, they work for their clients, not the companies. Customer service and satisfaction is their number one goal. Give Carlson Family Insurance a call for all of your personal, farm, business, and crop insurance needs. 701-672-6002 or at cfiagency.com. Carlson Family Insurance, your auto owner's insurance agent. Carlson Family Insurance timeout. Well, the Cowgirls off to a nice little lead here, Chad. 11-4 over CGB. And uh, Coach Moberg says, let's talk about this, girls, and settle things down as Abby Johnson back to serve with the jump serve and goes out. So good time out there. Broke up the momentum for the Cowgirls, and it's 11-5. Broke the momentum, got, you know. Hopefully it's the start of momentum for uh, Clinton Graysville, the Wolverines, so. Checking in is Allison Stevie, a senior. She's going to serve. Roberts digs it out for the Cowgirls. Yegi sets up Kaler out. 11-6. So after that timeout, now a 2-0 run here for the Wolverines. Nope. Starting to get a little momentum, Joe. Stevie back to serve again. Yegi this time sets up Hansen. That's four hits. Yep, didn't quite clear the net. Hansen and Oshock were there. He didn't quite clear the, clear the net. So Sidney Roberts steps behind the serving line. Back set into the back row. Moberg from behind the 10-foot line and then some. Cowgirls finding the right spots here to pick up those kill attempts. And I think that was a block at the net. We're going to say that's going to be credited to Matea Gibson and I believe Haley Ward. Checking in now is Addison Ward along with Grace Cardwell. One of the two groups of sisters, Grace Cardwell and Chloe Cardwell, and then the Ward sisters. Was it the other night against Wadena yeah. Deer Creek? They had three nice, oh, and it, Wolverines with a nice play. That one lands in. Addie Twidwell with the kill. Good volley there. I was just talking about how many... Well, sisters we had the other night. They had three sets. And Holly had some too, Joe. They had a couple sets. Everywhere. That was your and Brian's problem yep, then. Yep. No, I didn't. Yep, no, I, we got clarification on that too from uh, Parker Clarification from Coach Imdick gave us clarification on that. Oh, too, I suppose too. he's so, seen oh, yeah, him in basketball. Scouting. He's probably scouting <laughs> basketball. <laughs> There's a kill attempt. Nice little dig in the back row by Moberg. Over to the near side. Kill blocked at the net by Twidwell and Vig. Set. Other side. Kaler. Okay. Up near the basketball hoop. Got to go over in the third one for Matea Gibson. Twidwell again with the power at the net. Puts it away for the point. 
Addy with authority hit it hard. Yep. Listen to me, Joe. Yeah. Hit it hard. They're watching the broadcast yeah. after the word <laughs> after the game, Chad. Kelsey Sorol back to serve now for the Cowgirls. They've doubled up the Wolverines 14-7. Set over to the near side. Blocked at the net by Twidwell and big. I don't know if there's going to be one or a, one solo or a, an assist for the two. <laughs> so roll again. Set at the net. Little dink over the net. Cowgirls with a tip and the point. Mulberg dives for it along with Haley Ward, and they just couldn't come up with it. Nice little tip at the net by the Cowgirls for the point. Nope, real good, Joe. They found that open spot in the sideline and tipped it over. Little floater. Second in the third hit's going to go over there from Grace Cardwell. A set to the other side. Kaler at the power at the net. Hit twice. And the third one goes right into the net for Haley Ward. And another timeout here for CGB. We'll take a timeout on the Farmers Union Insurance scoreboard. Cowgirls 17, the Wolverines 7 back after this. No matter what time of year, a farmer's relationship with Red River Grain never changes. Red River Grain works shoulder to shoulder with area farmers, drying, cleaning, and marketing your grain to attain the highest possible profit for you. Red River Grain has been saving farmers for years, rewarding them with reasonable prices on purchases and fair deals when they sell. Talk to Kelly or Brad about the many services they offer. Red River Grain in Breckenridge. Call 643-3738. All right, welcome back to Cowgirl Gymnasium here in Breckenridge, Minnesota. The Wolverines and the Cowgirls in volleyball match in Minnesota High School volleyball block at the net by Twidwell and Kaler. Roberts digs, Sorol back sets to Vig. It was tipped at the net, point for the Cowgirls. And it's 18 to seven. Nice little run for the Cowgirls now, Chad. Yeah, Sorrell's back there serving well too, Joe. Yep. As we've, a, seen her, we've seen her as we've seen before. The so. CGB fans joining us. We saw her 17 in a row to open the season. Checking in is Emily Kellen, a freshman for the CGB Wolverines. At the net, little tip. Partially blocked by Twidwell. Back to the corner, deep they go. And just getting back there, not in time, was Allison Stevie. And it went off of her fist, out of bounds. Yep, good placement on that shot, Joe. CGB not used to uh, probably playing this far behind, Chad. No, I... <laughs> you know, they have lost five total matches, but yeah. I can't believe they've lost by a lot to anybody. We're only in set one here, folks, so I'm not writing off anybody. Vig with another kill. Second hit, it's going to be right at the net. Oh, and Vig puts it away. Matea Vig at the net. Putting it away for the Cowgirls. And the Cowgirls put the crooked number up first. Yeah. 20. Got the 20 on the board, so. Free one for the Cowgirls. Twidwell goes deep. Moberg picks it up. Back to Moberg from behind the 10 foot line is out. She's struggling. She has a little bit of a scowl on her face, too. She's not happy with her play, I'm sure, Chad. Uh, no. No, but it only takes a little bit to get oh back yeah, in the she'll rhythm, get, Joe. I'm sure we'll see some more out of her. She does have two kills on the night so far for the CGB Wolverines. Roberts a little bit too close to the net, and tipping that one right back for the Wolverines was Kellen, who just checked in a little bit ago. And she's going to come out here for the substitution as Hennessy checks back in. Another freshman, she'll go back to serve. Serve. Roberts with the dig. It's a roll. Sets up big. At the net, Twidwell. And the Wolverines oh, get it over. <laughs> Twidwell at the net. And that's going to go out of bounds. 
Not able to handle that one was Addie Ward, sophomore for the Wolverines. And it goes out of bounds. The Cowgirls three points away from set number one win. Kaler at the serve. And it goes way to the other side. Third hit's got to go over. And Hennessy gets it over on the third. Abby Johnson, a little off-balance kill attempt. Moberg blocked at the net. The girls got up there for that one. Big and Twidwell. 23 to 8. Kaler with the serve. To the near side. Moberg off balance. Roberts digs to Abby Johnson. Kill. Got the, eight, uh, the kill on that one, Chad. There's number two. Number two tonight. Number two, Joe. Yeah, I know. Hard hit down the line, Joe. And enough power on it where the defender couldn't uh, do anything but kind of just deflect it a little bit, Joe. And that one went under the tables over yeah. in the cafeteria yeah. area there, Chad. Yeah. So back to dig it out there for the Wolverines was Haley Ward. She got it back in play, and Kaler ready well, to serve. Got, <laughs> untied her shoe, Joe. Oh, she got yeah. tied her shoe. Got <laughs> to wait for that. Little equipment check. And we're ready here. Set point now for the Cowgirls. 24 to 8. Kaler into the back row. Sets up to the near side. Mo Burke blocks at the net again. Vig and Twidwell. Johnson bumps it over the net. Moberg off balance. Gets it Twidwell. Sorol sets up Vig. Got it. Point set win for the Cowgirls. 25 to 8. Uh, convincing 25 to 8 win yeah. here in set number one, Chad. That was, yeah, that the was Cowgirls did well. They did well, Joe. That was really, that was really well played. All right. Record, so. And I'm going to go back, Chad, before we go to a commercial yep. break. In the JV game, it was the same way. The JV Cowgirls yeah, won that first, first set. About the set, same score. Yep, yep, and yep. in the second set, CGB <laughs> came back and won yep. that one. And the third one, the Cowgirls won. So yep. the JV wins uh, two sets to three, or two sets to one in the uh, opening JV games. All right, Chad, let's take her to break. Okay. On the Farmers Union Insurance scoreboard, the Cowgirls up one set to zero. Comdell Innovation is now hiring production technicians for a variety of shifts with opportunities to make $20 or more per hour. Work in a clean, climate-controlled facility. Second shift, four 10-hour days every weekend off, 3.30 p.m. to 2 a.m., and four crew rotation, straight days, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., or straight nights, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Apply in person or online at ComdellInnovation.com. Comdell Innovation of Wapita, an employee-owned company. For 90 years, Casey's has been the place to enjoy time with family and friends, a place to meet people and share stories. Lots of memories have been made at the corner. It's the place to meet before, during, or after the game. The game is always on at Casey's on Minnesota Avenue in Breckenridge. Casey's, proud to support area high school athletics. Going to NDSCS, I found out way more than just like sports. I met a lot of people just on my floor and then different activities you could go to that were on campus. I for sure I look back on all the memories and love it. My name is Grace and I'm here for my future. Getting you back to what you love. We are Optimum Rehab. For over a decade, Dr. Tony Egeman has provided physical therapy services for the people of Wapaton Breckenridge and surrounding communities. We're a small practice that sees our patients as individuals. Through hands-on techniques, our patients have their treatment plans tailored to their exact needs. Sprains, sore muscles, back pain, achy joints, rehab following surgery, you name it. Optimum Rehab is your answer. When you need exceptional physical therapy, you need Optimum Rehab. Although Digital Guru is known for computer sales and repair, did you know we also install audio and video equipment for your home or business? We install a range of security systems, including cameras and door access control. Digital Guru also offers next generation cybersecurity, providing 24 seven monitoring and protection from today's ever increasing cyber attacks. For more information on the services we provide, call Digital Guru or visit our website today. They got some cool home security devices too. I, uh, I got mine there. There, yeah, I, I did. I don't have one in my apartment, Joe. I probably should get one. <laughs> Kelsey Sorol sets out <laughs> set number two. Set number two brought to you by Gripper Sports in downtown Wapitan. And there is Moberg with her oh, yeah. kill. 
That one. That might that might start the start the momentum, Joel. For it that might. As uh, Abby Johnson couldn't handle that one. Digital guru in downtown Wapiton. Brian Geffrey and the crew always watching Three Border Sports. Vig got her kill. Matea Vig's having a good night, Chad. She's been, hard, at, Joe. she's been at the net blocking, and she's been getting some aces. She's got three. Yeah, Twidwell's, Twidwell's got, got three. three. Abby's got two. Abby's sitting at 1,010 kills for the career. There's another dig for Abby. Over to Twidwell. Moberg's got to go over backhanded there on the third hit. Sorol back sets to Vig. Good dig in the back row for Cardwell. Set over to Abby. Got it. That one goes up into the crowd. <laughs> Almost yeah. to the top row. Oh. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, <laughs> he tossed it down, Joe. Yeah. Hit, hit Sue Smith right in the back it's of the head. Sue I think. right yeah. in the back of the head. <laughs> uh, that was funny. Sue didn't bother her no. a bit. Kaler with the serve. And there is Moberg, and that is going to be out. Oh, they say it was yeah, a tip. Roy's got a touch. Uh, yep. Official, up official on a tip. touch. Yep. Get my, cell, uh, my uh, text number there, folks, if you want to shoot us a text. Let us know who you're cheering for, 701-640-2619. If you're from CGB, welcome to Three Borders Sports Network. I'm Joe Schreiner, Chad Affield. Brian Watson. Yes. Is he's watching, Joe. He's watching. I know he's got it on. He's up in Valley City watching his daughter play volleyball. Mm. As the Calgary or the Huskies are up to the Highliners. Okay. And there's a kill by Mobert. She's got another one. And I believe that is her fourth. Uh, it takes a little bit to get on the board. There it is. There it is. Yep. And 701-640-2619. Let us know who you're cheering for. Hi, Jeannie. <laughs> <laughs> Three to two. I want to keep Jeannie on my good side, Joe. I don't yeah, want to. Yeah, you got to do side, that. So. Set over to Abby. Are they going to get it? Oh, nope. Yeah. They saved it. So yeah. Abby didn't get the kill. Twidwell, a little dink over the net. Nice dig in the back there by Haley Ward. Oh, good block at the net. Block at the net there was by Murphy. Holberg swings. Abby Johnson with a swing from behind the 10-foot line, and it goes out the back line for the point for CGB. CGB kind of got the momentum going, Joe, and they kind of see that Moberg's got a little momentum going, too, and they're, they're feeding her, Joe. Yep. That one goes in the net on the serve attempt there by Andrews, Elena Andrews. Yeah, those unforced errors will get you, Joe. They sure do. <laughs> yes, Aunt Sophie is watching. All right. She says thank, thank you. you. Yes. Oh, and that one's a kill yeah. and a point there. I believe that was Murphy again. Yeah, I think it? that was 13, yeah. Yep. Checking in now is Gibson. Going back to serve is Moberg. They got a little bit of height there, Joe, at the, at the net do. right now anyway. Yeah, they sure do. I said they don't list the heights yeah. in the program here, but giddy up cowgirls, Sophie says. All right, yeah. Hanson goes over on the second hit for the Cowgirls. Sorol back sets to Vig. CGB's got to go way back for it. They get it over on the third hit. So a free one here for the Cowgirls again, right at the net for Hanson. Finds the side. Nope. Oh, is it out? Nope, not nope, in, Joe. Yep. Just in, just inside the line. So a point for the Cowgirls. Nice play by Haley Hanson. I like her play at the net, Chad. Yep. Uh, Haley's really come alive here in the last half yep. of the season. Yep. Yegi serves for the Cowgirls to the near side, rushing up to the net and puts it right in the net was Gibson. We're tied at five. Again. Nice block the net there by Hansen. That one didn't go into the net, or went four, into the net, excuse me. Finally, finally got the four hits on this play. Yep, Grebner, that was Gracie Grebner. 
Asked her in the hallway how to pronounce her name. Yep. She told me. All right. All right. Some, I like to have my name announced right, Joe. If I'm Absolutely. Here, I think so. Roberts digs to Hanson. Nice block at the net. And that was Murphy again at the net. I don't know how tall she is, but she's pushing six, if not uh, higher. Yeah, I think so, Joe. She's tall girl. Tall drink of water. Six, six, we're tied. Abby Johnson. Oh. And I don't know if that one would have cleared the net. I don't know if it would have either, but they had the block ready, Joe, in case it did. Yep. They were ready for it over there. They're starting to really get their block going over here. So Back to serve again is Stevie. Abby Johnson with the kill. Good dig in the back row by CGB. A pancake by Abby. Gets it up in the air just enough. Oh, and that time she couldn't save it. Partially blocked at the net there by Hanson, but she couldn't quite come up with it on the dig. No, nope. made, the, made the old college try. Joe tried it, but just like you said, just couldn't, couldn't get it up, and they couldn't get it over. So Dan Tolbert tuning in. Thank you, Dan. Going over on the second one was Parker Yagi. Back set to the other side. Over is Grebner. Abby at that. Moberg from back behind the 10 foot line. Sydney Roberts sets up. Abby Johnson almost hits the rafters, and I believe that's going to count as a kill. Is it not, Chad? I would say yes. <clears throat> Let's see if they put one on the board for her. I would say yes. Yep, yep they, they did. did. So that gives her four. So she's at 1,012. Hanson at the net. Partially blocked at the net. Oh, yeah, there goes back to Holberg in the back row, Joe. Yep, they'll set her up in the back row. Here comes Abby with another kill. That one's into the rafters, hits a light, and bounces down. Abby's got another kill. She's got three now in this set. She's nine away from the tie, ten to the get the record. I wonder if Cameron's watching tonight. Or watching her <laughs> sister and seeing if her career well, record's going to go. The Taylor family is here, Joe. So, so I'm sure yeah, that, yeah, if she's good. not watching, they're letting her know, I'm sure, Joe. See, uh, Abby got the ace on that one. Unable to return that one, so uh, Sydney Roberts making a good decision in the back row. And the Cowgirls take the lead. 9-8. We'll push over oh. that. Etzler and Johnson got confused. Yeah, Emma got Etzler it. came in and uh, her first action of the night here. You got it, you got it. No, no, no. It landed right between the two, Joe. So. <laughs> Communication and hit it hard, Joe. That's my two things. Yep. Back to serve for CGB is Grace Cardwell. Nice serve. Over to the other side to Kaler. And she'll get the kill in the point. Unable to handle it in the back row is Stevie. 10 line lead for the Cowgirls. Haley Hansen comes out. She's getting some instruction from Coach Wilson. At the net, partially blocked, but it goes off the hands of Twidwell and a good kill there for Haley Ward. And we're tied at 10. Yeah, this is a little more, Joe, they already got 10. They only scored eight in the first game, so they've made it a little more competitive, Joe. And this, actually, this, this is unofficially, this is Chad, the uh, one, two, three, four, five, fifth tie okay. in this match or set. Over the net on that push there was Haley Ward. Etzler with the kill, but it just goes wide for Emma. And CGB takes the lead back by one. What are you doing this Friday, Chad? Where are you going? I'm uh, going to Holly, Minnesota. Holly, Minnesota with the football team. Football huh? team, yep. And then Saturday, Joe, I'm driving all, I'm, I'm riding to... Virginia, Minnesota. You ever been there? 
Kaler with the kill and the point. We're tied at 11. Uh, never been to Virginia, Minnesota, man. Well, I'm, I'm going, uh, driving right along. The science football team is playing up there at Masabi, so I uh, figured I'd take a Saturday, Joe, and there you go. Right up there, so it's after the getting old, home uh, late Friday night, I'll be, we're leaving at quarter to six on Saturday, Joe, so it's going to be a, long, a quick long turnover day. and a long day. As Vig and Sorol check in, Sorol serves. Third hit's going to be by Moberg. Sorol sets over the other side to Kaler and the kill and the point. 12-11 for the Cowgirls. Next week, next week, Joe, it's a short week, so the football team plays home on Wednesday. Wednesday? It's MEA, right? Yes. I, I, I'm assuming NDEA is the same weekend, but maybe not. Uh, I think it is, yes. Kaler hits a good dig in the back row by Chloe Cardwell. Kaler, it's a roll. Vig. Got it. Is it in? Yes. Yep. Matea Vig came to play tonight, too, as well. That'll be her fourth kill. Fourth, I believe, yep. Four kills for Jessica Moberg and one for Haley Ward on the scoreboard. On the scoreboard. Good dig there by Abby. Man, I'd be bailing on that. Yeah. I'd be getting out of the way. <laughs> no, Joe, we put a football helmet and oh. football helmet pads on. Yeah, Joe, then I'd get in on. there. <laughs> Moberg with the point. Vig and Twidwell were at the net. They rolled off their elbows down for the point. Speaking of Haley Ward, she's back to serve. Senior for the Wolverines. Kaler bumps it to Sydney Roberts. From the back row, Sydney Roberts. Big yeah. smile on her face. I got a kill and a point. Hit it How hard. about that? Yep. Hit Swing. it hard. Swing for hard, Sydney. Joe. Yeah, that was good. Dual was sport athlete, Sydney Dual Roberts. sport athlete, yep. Mentioned it many times here on Three Border Sports. She's qualified for EDC swimming and state. That one's out. And it's a point for CGB. Dual sport athlete. She's a great swimmer. She went to one meet. She qualified for the EDC tournament <laughs> and qualified for state at the same time in one swim meet. That's a girl that's getting it done. You're she good. practices yeah. on her own. She uh, okay. does her own swimming practices okay. when she's here at volleyball. She'll go to her hour and a half of swimming. Coach Danae Riley and the BW Storm swim team. Back set to Twidwell. Boom! Put it away, Addy. 15-3. I don't know how many dual sport athletes though, Joe. That might be and very few you know? anymore. Very few anymore. You're right there, man? Yes. All right, bless you. Thank you. Set at the net, little tip over the net. Johnson saves over. it and oh. it tipped over again there. Good play at the net by Murphy. Johnson. There it is. Abby got another one. Number six, Joe. Give her six. I got her for 1014. She needs eight more to tie. Mulberg with her kill. Kaler with the dig. Over to Abby. That one goes out. Yeah. I'm sure the team knows too, Joe, you know. She's getting close. and But they're doing a good job not just singling out her. Too. They're setting yep. up everybody along the front row, Joe. Yep. So she looked job. up at the rafters because yep. that one was up in there. <laughs> as Jessica Mulberg steps back to serve for CGB. The right-hander puts it over the net. Just barely over the tape. Good play. I think the CGB folks wanted yeah, something there. They wanted a lift, I think, I think on that so. set, George. Over to Abby. Little awkward little tap. Good block at the net, but it goes out. Vig and Hansen were there. This goes out. Good block, Joe, but the arms were just kind of tipped, the, uh, pointed the wrong direction, Joe, and pointed out. And yep. just kind of went off and out. So. Holberg again. Trailing by one. Sorol sets up Hansen, a little tip. Back into the net, and it's going to fall in against the Cowgirls. And, Chad, we are tied, tied again. again. <laughs> Last tie was at 11-11, and now we're tied at 16. Back over to Johnson, a little too close to the net for Abby to wind up. 
And that one was a good play at the net there by Murphy. Again, she's, yeah, she's, I wish they had heights, but I, I she's got to be six. Oh, yeah, I, at least six foot. Handers herself well at the net with Moberg and her. Back set to Vig. Blocked at the net nicely by Murphy. On the side. Attempt here on the side there by Kellen. Abby, good dig in the back. That was Haley Ward and a point for CGB. And they're taking a lead, and here comes Margaret. Is she going to want a timeout? Nope. She's going to talk to the girls. 18-16. Moberg to serve again. Sorol sets up Vig. The kill and the block at the net, so it goes out. And the Cowgirls get the serve back. Trailing by one. Vig comes out. Sorol comes out. Yagi comes in. Etzler comes in. Cowgirls trail by one, set number two. They won set number one. Oh, and there was a little bit of miscommunication there, Chad, and we're tied at 18. Tied again, Joe. Communication again, Chad. Communication, Joe. And uh, Ward and, and uh, Moberg are talking to each other, and they'll get it cleared up, I'm sure. Nice serve from Yegi. At the net. Yeah. And a net violation. Just brush the net, Joe. Yep, I believe that's going to go against Andrews. Referee held up five, so number five was Andrews. 19-18. Moberg sets to the near side. Kellen yep. out. Cowgirls with a two-point lead now. Yeah, Came back, top. Chad. Yep. We got a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout as well. Carlson Family Insurance timeout. We'll be right back. Anytime's a good time to stop down and see Eric and the crew. Carlson Family Insurance. Customer satisfaction and customer service are their number one goal. Back after this. Insurance is an important safety net for your family, your home, and your business. Carlson Family Insurance Agency is your local auto owner's insurance provider. At Carlson Family Insurance, they work for their clients, not the companies. Customer service and satisfaction is their number one goal. Give Carlson Family Insurance a call for all of your personal, farm, business, and crop insurance needs. 701-672-6002 or at cfiagency.com. Carlson Family Insurance, your auto owner's insurance agent. I'm the first kid in my family to have graduated from college. And then that NDSCS, they told me, hey, look, you can get credits for this. You can go further. So I start to see, like, my horizon broadening up. I'm going to be pretty unstoppable. My name is Julie, and I'm here for my future. All right, here we go. Cowgirls up by two, 20 to 18. In the middle, Murphy blocked at the net. Is it going to be four hits? It was. Didn't quite clear the net. Cowgirls were there. Hanson and Etzler, I believe, were there. It's a three-point lead for the Cowgirls, Chad. Vicky Glander says hi, Chad. Hi, Vicky. Go Cowgirls, yep. was her quote. Moberg from deep. To the other side, here's Abby with a kill, and that one goes into the net. And an unforced error for the CGB gets a point. Checking in for CGB right now. For Murphy is going to be Allison Stevie. Senior for senior. Stevie will go back to serve. Trailing by two. Bump to Etzler. Gets it over the net. Near side. Popped over the net there by Kellen. Johnson is in. Oh, number seven. One thousand fifteen. The record ten twenty two. She's got ten fifteen now. Seven to go. To tie Cameron Kaler. At the net. Good save there. By Yegi. And a Kaler comes through. Speaking of Kaler's. <laughs> little sister, Joe. Yeah. And another timeout. And we'll take a timeout as well. And the Farmers Union Insurance scoreboard is 23-19 in favor of the Cowgirls. Back after this. Going to 
this, I found out way more than just like sports. I met a lot of people just on my floor and then different activities you could go to that were on campus. I for sure will look back on all the memories and love it. My name is Grace and I'm here for my future. Going Never in my life thought I would be through a tornado. It's devastation. I walked out in shock. Where do you start? Jared's name came up on my screen. He's our agent. And he said, we'll get you taken care of. For him to call at the exact moment that our life is being shattered. I couldn't ask for a better agent, for a better company, in a disaster where you have no idea where to start. For service you can count on, call 866-COUNTRY and request a quote today. There you go. Thank you, Stephen Lip and Country Financial Insurance. Etzler puts it into the net. CGB gets a crooked number on the board for the first time tonight with a 20. Checking in for CGB is Addie Ward, sophomore. She wears number nine. Her sister Haley is also out there in the front row. Other side, DeKaler approaches the net with the kill. Trying to reach for that one was Chloe Cardwell. Couldn't quite get there on the pancake, Chad. And the Cowgirls away, yeah, one point away from another set win. Yeah, set point, Joe. Sydney Roberts behind the serving line. Moberg. This time to Haley Ward, and she'll get the point. 24 21. Nice set on the other side by Grace Cardwell. What do we got? Confusion here, Chad? Or well, I think they think they want a sub, and the subs didn't run off the bench or okay. something. I'm not sure, but now they finally did sub. Hennessy so. checks in. Robert Wanick back in the corner taking yep. some pictures. He does really some nice work with the camera. Really nice work. He produced our commercial for Three Border Sports Network. Did a nice job. Twidwell looking for the point. Back set, Etzler, got it! Emma Etzler puts it away for the winning point. 25-21, a set two win. The Cowgirls with a 2-0 lead here. We're gonna take a break on the Three Borders Sports Network. The Cowgirls up two sets to zero. Back after these messages, right here. At Interstate Engineering, our business is about connections. We connect people to water, communities to counties, and counties to the rest of the world. Our work connects main streets to interstates and yesterday with the potential of tomorrow. With over 40 years of connecting, our experience and expertise are thanks to the clients we have earned, the trust we have built, and the connections we have made. Interstate Engineering, the professionals you need, the people you trust. Better Living begins at home, and Three Rivers Decorating in Wapaton is your personal designing service. New flooring in your home can totally change its look and feel. Three Rivers Decorating has dozens of vinyl plank designs to choose from, along with carpet, tile, and linoleum. Whether it's updating your home's interior or retail space, Three Rivers Decorating has all of the latest styles and trends. They also offer free estimates. Give them a call today, 701-642-8454. Superior Builders in Breckenridge specializes in post-frame buildings with 25 years worth of knowledge and experience in the post-frame industry. Licensed and insured, Superior Builders offers pre-engineered commercial buildings, farm shops, hobby buildings, and storage buildings. Superior Builders also offers a 40-year paint warranty and lifetime column warranty. Superior Builders in Breckenridge, building your dream to last. 701-238-7740. That's 701-238-7740. Since 1987, Red River Valley and Western Railroad has served North Dakota and Minnesota with over 500 miles of track. Red River Valley and Western handles shipping, freight car repair, storage options, and now transload services. With over 30 years of experience in the railroad industry, they know dependable service is what you strive for. Red River Valley and Western is proud to be a part of the community since 1987. For 90 years, Casey's has been the place to enjoy time with family and friends. A place to meet people and share stories. Lots of memories have been made at the corner. 
It's the place to meet before, during, or after the game. The game is always on at Casey's on Minnesota Avenue in Breckenridge. Casey's, proud to support area high school athletics. Well, Karen and Carly finally text. They're watching. Go hey. Cheer on the Cowgirls. Thanks, Karen and Carly. Also, I have a new text here from Camden Nel- Camden Kelson. I'm sorry. Okay. So the Kelson family tuning in and watching. Thanks, Camden and Kelson family. Cowgirls with a two-set lead here. To Vig. Back into the back row. Good cover there by Hennessy. Moberg. Good dig by Roberts. Abby, kill, is it in? Yes. Number eight. I don't want to put the jinx either, Joe. I've, no. I've, we... I've watched all the volleyball <laughs> matches at home, Joe. Yep. Never gone more than three games. Oh, there he just Win did it. Win or I'm jinxed now. Yep, he just did it. <laughs> this year. This year. It's tough to get all our commercials in, Jeff. I know. That's what I mean, Joe. I need a... <laughs> Two to nothing lead here for the Cowgirls, and they've got a freebie here. Sorol sets up Abby for another one blocked at the net and back into the Cowgirls' side. And a block there by the Ward girls, Addie and Haley. They're both at the net. Eight to six to tie and seven to break it, Joe. Is that where we're at? Uh, 1,016. Okay. Six to tie, seven to. And she was out for uh, yeah. a period of time. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's going to be a tough one. Oh, oh, yeah. what is, oh, almost a heck of a save out Good there effort. by the back by Sydney. Good effort by Sydney Roberts on that one, Joe. I didn't think it had a chance, and then she made the swing at it, and it was very close. We're tied at three. Tied at two, Joe. Or excuse me, two. I'm I was second. I was writing set three is I was, what I was writing on my notes. Say, maybe, the, maybe the clock operator's <laughs> off a couple points. <laughs> Ward to serve. That was Haley. Good block at the net by Murphy. Moberg bumps. Back to Moberg. Powerful swing. Blocked at the net by the Cowgirls, but it goes out of bounds. And a point. And the CGB Wolverines take the lead. I'm going to blame Coach Watson for our, uh, score, our, our camera scoreboard issues the other night, too, Joe. Okay. So you, you run the camera. Look at it. Look at there. Both working. He runs it one night, and we couldn't get it to work at all. So <laughs> I know Bailey Juleson, who is the sister of Margaret Wilson, okay. uh, sent me a text when I was in the tractor, and that one goes out. Okay. Sent me a text in the tractor and says, the scoreboard your scoreboard's out. not working. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. But we got her back. And Coach Watson tried, though. I'll give him credit. He tried he everything he, he tried. could do. He, was, he called me after the game in the <laughs> tractor. I was in the tractor that night, too, watching. 4-2. Twidwell. Over to the near side, Moberg. Abby digs it. Back to Abby. A dig in the back row there by Haley Ward. Blocked at the net. Oh, oh what a play that there was... by Moberg. <laughs> Abby with the kill. Good block at the net there by the CGB Wolverines. And a smash. <laughs> Oof. Hard hit, Joe, but she hasn't found her, you know, she's just a hair bit off yet, Joe, and it's sailing long on her, not following through, I guess. I'm not, a, I'm I'm not a volleyball not, expert, Joe, but... I, I don't care if I have a helmet on. I'm getting out of the way. <laughs> Addy Twidwell with a bump set to Abby. A little bit too close to the net, and it goes out. Yeah. Just Sydney, a little Roberts. Bit yep. Sydney Roberts checks back in for Twidwell. Also in is Andrews for the Wolverines along with Grebner. Section 6A South versus 6A North. Breckenridge in the North. Number two in the nor- uh, South versus number three in the North. Joe. Yep. Moberg bumps. Back to Mo- Oh, that was Murphy. Right. Abby Johnson tried to get it. Went off her arm. Goes out of bounds. 6 3. I mentioned Vicky, didn't I? Vicky, Vicky Clint, Ryan yeah. said hi, yes. 
Big. Is it in? Yep. Yep. Both referees say it's in. She's, As, a, she's a good night too, Joy. I believe that's number six for her. So yes, it is. Yagi oh, and Oshak coming mean, in. They've had Twin Wheels got four. They got a lot of kills on the board, Joe. Moreburg with serves. five for CGB. And she's looking for six. Yeah. Didn't get it. Oh, Taylor <laughs> puts it back up. Now Oshak's got to go over. Moberg's got to hit it from out of bounds. Over to Abby. Johnson. Got yeah. it. And another kill for Abby. Should be number nine, Joe. Five away. Abby with nine kills, four for Twidwell. Over to the near side. Johnson digs. Yegi sets up Oshock and good block the net there by CGB. I'm going to give that credit to Murphy and Moberg. Yep. She goes back to serve. Kellen checks in. Two point lead for the Wolverines. Robertson, the nice dig over to Oshock. Tries to get it over the net. Partially blocked at the net, but it's going to fall down out of bounds. Tipped by the Wolverines. It'll be a point for the Cowgirls. 7 6. Abby Johnson goes back to serve. She's already got her name on the record book out there in the hallway a lot, Chad. Oh, yeah. Aces, digs. She's, she's, she's you know, played, played a lot of games, Jeff. Yeah. Taylor with a kill. And for the most part, been healthy through those. You know, through her years too, Joe. Yep. She hasn't missed a lot of a lot of action except That's a little bit this year. But what, yep, one game. Well, she had missed some tournament games little too. Tournament, a little bit of the tournament, and then she missed a game at home. Yeah. And uh, Kaylor was six kills here, yeah, buddy. Yeah, no. Yeah. Abby with the jump serve. What would you say the younger Kaylor girl is, Joe? A freshman? Uh, Caitlin. 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 Uh, yeah. Yeah. Freshman, I believe, Joe. Yes. So she might be setting yeah, some records. She might. <laughs> Chasing some anyway. Chasing. Hanson, a little bump over yeah. with the palm. It blocked the net. Hanson was there, but Perfect. Murphy yeah. puts it away. Power through it, Joe. Power through the block. Got it through. And Eight seven lead for CGB. Stevie back to serve. Set to the near side, Hanson gets it over the net. Yegi sets up Hanson. There's a point for Haley. She wants that one. She got a smile on her face for that. I'm giving CG credit though. CGB credit, Joe. They, other than the first game, the last two, it's been, you know, tie, point mm -hmm. loss, tie. I mean, they've, they've made the last two games really competitive. They have. Haley Hansen, just a junior at five foot nope. seven, plays well at the net. I don't remember her playing a lot last year. No, I don't think she did. Taylor, nice dig there by Johnson. My goodness, the reaction time. Yeah. That one's in. Seven. Taylor with another one. Seven for her, Joe. The <laughs> smile on that freshman's face. Sydney Roberts to serve again. Ward. Over to the other side, Grebner couldn't get it over the net. We might see a timeout coming yeah, here pretty soon. Soon, maybe one Ten more. Cowgirls were behind, and now they snuck back and took the yeah. lead and an ace for Sydney Roberts. Yeah. Oh, no, no. And a substitution, Chloe Cardwell goes into the back row for the Wolverines. Deep, that one's. Yeah. A little bit too strong. And it's 11-9. Two-point lead here for the Cowgirls. Addie Ward checks in along with Grace Cardwell. Grebner comes out. Back set. Oshock puts it into the net. Point for the uh, Wolverines, and it's a one point game. Yeah. 
A little bit too deep on the serve. So the Cowgirls get the serve back and the ball back. Leading by two. Vig checks in. Sorol checks in. Coach Wilson's usual rotation, usual, Chad. Yep, hasn't, yep, it's been the same, Joe. So We've seen it all year long. Working, why change it, Joe? Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> Nobody tipped it, though. It was a good smash there by uh, Haley Ward. And it just a little bit too strong. She's pushing her hands down, trying to settle herself down. Trail by three. Holberg with the bump set. And that one right into the hands of Addie Twidwell. Good hit there by Kellen. Hennessy checks in. As Emily Kellen just had that kill and she'll take a spot on the bench. Going in to serve for her again is Hennessy, another freshman. So some youngsters getting some time in here, Chad, on both right. squads. Some varsity experience. Abby you know. from deep. My goodness. Pop that one, did Matea Vig. She's got seven. <laughs> Matea having a great game tonight. what you like to see though Joe this good competition like this and yep. stepping up like that that's you yep. know that's what we want to see Taylor with the serve to the near side Moberg oh, tipped at the net Cowgirls Ooh. try to save it goes into the crowd yep. good attempt Joe just a yep. little bit off I would think that Moberg's going to go to the next level yeah, just watching her. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't ask anybody. It, no. I would think she will. Back to serve is Haley Ward. Kaler a little close to the net, and Moberg puts it away on the dunk. I always said, Joe, if, there, if you want to continue on, Joe, there's a, co there's a school out there for you, too. So maybe, you know, I... Maybe she, you know, I see she's a good volleyball player, Joe. Maybe she's a good basketball player, yeah, too, or a good yeah, track athlete, yep, too. Yep. I mean, yeah, we. <laughs> I would think she just, I mean. I haven't looked at the Cowgirls. You know, Johnson they, goes long on that one. I believe We're they tied at play, 14. I believe that these two teams are playing basketball, too, Joe. I so we might see her, huh? Yep. Yeah, I haven't looked at the winter schedule yet to see if they're here uh, or if it's away. I think I'm not. I don't want to say, Joe. Okay. I'm sure, Mr. Coach Imdick probably knows. Yep. <laughs> He'll shoot us a text. <laughs> Ooh. Set to Johnson, it. and she got it. Is that going to count as a kill? Uh, I would say. <laughs> Let's see if they put one on the board. Uh, yeah, yep, they did. They did. Yeah, I, I would think that's a kill, though. It should Joe. be. Yep. Yeah. Eddie Twidwell, double digits for Abby Johnson and kills tonight with 10. There's still points to do it, Joe. But setting her up for that one. Uh, that one goes strong. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank our sponsorship club again, uh, Hornstein Family Chiropractic, Thrivent and Will Ulick, the Farmers Union Insurance Scoreboard, OSPTI. Red River Green, our post-game show will be coming up here at the conclusion of the match. Carlson Family Insurance as well. CGB here can get a little momentum going, Joe. It's tied, tied right at now. 15. So. Kaler bumps. Back set to Vig. She's had a good one, and she got another one. Great for her. Digital Guru came back on board this fall. Wapit on Daily News, Red River Human Services, Superior Builders. Three Rivers Crisis Center, Country Financial Insurance, and Stephen Lip, North Dakota State College of Science, Casey's Bar and Grill, Bold Print, Bell Bank of Wapiton, and Breckenridge, and Optimum Rehab. And I got Dr. a few Tony. more. Dr. Tony. Dr. Tony. Oh, my. Murphy's good at the net, too. Yes. No, both, 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 yeah, both the girls over here for CGB, they can, they can bring it, Joe. Chad, we had eight ties in set number yeah. two, <laughs> and we are now at six here in set okay. number three. Yeah. Like I said, the last two have been competitive, Joe. The first one kind of got out of hand, but. Roberts digs. Abby blocked at the net by block. Murphy. Good block by Murphy. Wow. Yeah, she gets up. Like I said, Joe, she's probably six foot, and she can get off the ground, block, and hit hit it hard, Joe. So. 
Just like that, they've taken momentum back. So they're up by points. They're up by one. Sydney. Yagi sets over to Oshop. She'll tap it over the net. Oh, that one hit the, the hit the antenna by Murphy. But all she could do, though, is pop it up like that, Joan. It just happened to hit the antenna and bounce over. So 17 apiece. Yep. <laughs> Number seven tie. Number Joe. seven tie. <laughs> Abby Johnson steps behind the line with her. She's going to be doing her jump serve here. She's quite the a ways back. The hamstring must be feeling okay, Joe. Must be. Over the near side, Kellen. And it's a point for the yeah. Cowgirls. Yeah, just a little bit behind her on that. So some of those, Joe, if, if the set's not perfect, you, sometimes you just got to bump it over too, Joe. You know, you can't just try to hit them in. But like I said, I'm not a volleyball wizard. Joe, so. And then that it goes. And guess what, Chad? Yeah, tie number eight, Joe. <laughs> eight ties in set two. Eight ties so far here in set three. We'll be back here Thursday night. Thursday, senior night, Joe. For senior night. As they take on Frazee. Well, pretty safe bet if Abby doesn't do it tonight, Joe, she'll probably do it Thursday. Moberg with the second hit. Third hit's got to go over by Stevie. Set to Hansen. Good save by the CGB Wolverines. Yeah. Mm. It's hit over by Kellen. Oh, Kellen saves oh. that one. Little dunk yeah. there. Nice yeah. save by the Cowgirls. Good. Haley Ward. Oshock, a little tap over the net. Abby Johnson back sets to Kaler. Long volley here, Chad. Yeah, back and forth. Joe, good defense on both sides. Oh. Oh, yeah, just, uh... Wow. What a volley. That, that was, was fun. That was fun to watch, Joe. Back and forth defensively like that. And CGB finally uh, finished it off there. With a little tip over the net, Joe. Well. Yeah. Close to that crooked number on the board. We'll see who gets it first. CGB up by one. Yegi back sets to Hansen out. Well, there comes a timeout too from Margaret. I think so. Yep. There's Margaret with a timeout. Carlson Family Insurance timeout. Anytime's a good time to see Eric and the crew on Second Avenue. Customer service and satisfaction is their number one goal. That's fine. Comdell Innovation is now hiring production technicians for a variety of shifts with opportunities to make $20 or more per hour. Work in a clean, climate-controlled facility. Second shift, four 10-hour days, every weekend off, 3.30 p.m. to 2 a.m., and four crew rotation, straight days, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., or straight nights, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Apply in person or online at ComdellInnovation.com. Comdell Innovation of Wapiton, an employee-owned company. Right after school, I'm right into the workforce. I don't have to go looking for a job, and that's kind of what made me take a step forward into being a diesel tech at NDSCS. No looking back. My name is Eli, and I'm here for my future. Little three border sports theme. Yep. Hi, Jeannie. And uh, we're back, and that one goes out, so the timeout yeah, paid, off. paid off. And uh, Chad, tie number nine. No, 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 Joe. Oh, Joe, Joe. No, no, that's no, right. There was a two. Now, <laughs> I just look up at the scoreboard and I saw it down yeah, one. I know, yep. Sorry, folks. Yep. He's quick on the scoreboard. I'm here, sorry. So. Set toward Johnson, bumps it up over to Kaler. Kaler approaches the net. Good dig. Good dig by CGB on that one, Joe. Set over to Johnson. Johnson. Yep. Didn't get it. Third hit goes over. Set to this side to Oshock. Oshock. A little yep. tap over the net. Didn't work. Oh, back set. Moberg. Yep. From deep. Here comes Kaler charging the net. It's in. Yep. On the line, Joe. Kaler gets another ace. That's number eight for her, Joe. Now we're tied, Chad. Now we're tied. Joe. Thank now you. You're good. Yes. That is number nine. Eight. Oh. In the game. Eight, no, nine. Yep. Nine ties. Sorry, nine bud. Ties. Sorry, yes. Sydney Roberts gets it over the net. A dig on the far side by they're Sigler. They're going them over, Joe. Oh, you bet over they the are. Horse. Nice save in the back they're by Moberg. See what the Cowgirls can do with this one. Set to Twidwell. Addy got it. Addy playing in the middle. Got that hit. And we got another timeout on the scoreboard on the Farmers Union Insurance scoreboard. The Cowgirls 21.
CGB 20. And this time out also brought to you by Carlson Family Insurance. We'll be right back, Chad. Superior Builders in Breckenridge specializes in post-frame buildings with 25 years worth of knowledge and experience in the post-frame industry. Licensed and insured, Superior Builders offers pre-engineered commercial buildings, farm shops, hobby buildings, and storage buildings. Superior Builders also offers a 40-year paint warranty and lifetime column warranty. Superior Builders in Breckenridge, building your dream to last. 701-238-7740. That's 701-238-7740. All right, there goes Sidney Roberts with the serve. Leading by one are the Cowgirls. Ward at the middle puts it out. Cowgirls three points away from a set and match win. Again, CGB number two in the south. Breckenridge number three in the north. Section 6A. They could see each other in the tournament. Sydney doing a good job in the back row. Twidwell with another one. That's out. Addie was close on that one, but just close, couldn't just quite get it. Kind of turning around, you know, turned just a little bit the wrong way, Joe. So Addie Ward checks back in, and going back to serve is going to be Grace Cardwell. Cowgirls lead by one. Set number three. They won the first two. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Some CGB fans looking for a touch on that. Yeah. I didn't. I don't I, think she did. I, I think she whiffed at it. Yeah, I, I think she wanted. <laughs> there's the old color syndrome. She wanted to, I think, but it was a swing and a miss. I, I think she reflected it, Joe. But. All right, sure. there's another timeout. We'll take a timeout as well. This is a Carlson Family Insurance timeout. Customer service and satisfaction is their number one goal. Back after this. Although Digital Guru is known for computer sales and repair, did you know we also install audio and video equipment for your home or business? We install a range of security systems, including cameras and door access control. Digital Guru also offers next generation cybersecurity, providing 24 7 monitoring and protection from today's ever increasing cyber attacks. For more information on the services we provide, call Digital Guru or visit our website today. It feels like you're at a bigger university. Right now I won't have any debt and I might even gain a little extra money through scholarships. There's so many job opportunities. My name is Emily and I'm here for my future. Here we go. 23-21. Margaret has one timeout left for the Cowgirls. CGB has used both of theirs. Sorol sets up Twidwell. She's got to go deep with it. Off balance for the kill attempt. Abby Pancake got her hand underneath it and kept it up. Moberg puts it away. Oh, no, it wasn't either. Excuse me. That was not Moberg. I saw the ponytail. Thinking it was her, but it was Emily Kellen. Yep. Kellen with the kill. Emily Kellen, Chad, another freshman. Yep. Getting some playing time here one for point, CGB. One point game again, Joe. Yep. Call the friends, call the neighbors. We got a good one. Wake up the dog. Vig. Good save in the back there by Stevie. Ooh. Up at the net, Ooh. did it go out? Yeah, yep, out. everybody's saying out. Side judges and the uh, judge here on the side, the referee on the side here said it's out. 24-22. One, one point away from not me not jinxing them, Joe. So. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Kaler with the serve. There's Moberg. Oh, yeah. Good dig by Sydney. Abby, That's a kill point. and the win. How fitting was that? Abby Johnson with the kill. We'll cover that in our post-game show brought to you by Red River Green. Coming up next, we'll cover where she's at on the kill record. And uh, we're going to have to wait till Thursday for that. Uh, Chad, your final score in set number three. The Cowgirls win 25-22. to 22, And they win three sets to three zero. Sets to zero. And uh, we'll be uh, right back with our Red River Grain post-game show. And head coach, Margaret Wilson, will be joining us up here after the game. And uh, we'll visit with Margaret and uh, see what uh, what she's got for thoughts on this one. I think the Cowgirls are pretty happy about it. I, 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 I'm almost positive, Joe. They are, right. yes, Big win in Section 6A for the Cowgirls. We'll be right back again with our post-game show. Cowgirls win three sets to zero back after this. 
getting you back to what you love. We are Optimum Rehab. For over a decade, Dr. Tony Egeman has provided physical therapy services for the people of Wapaton, Breckenridge, and surrounding communities. We're a small practice that sees our patients as individuals. Through hands-on techniques, our patients have their treatment plans tailored to their exact needs. Sprains, sore muscles, back pain, achy joints, rehab following surgery, you name it. Optimum Rehab is your answer. When you need exceptional physical therapy, you need Optimum Rehab. Auto and Home Insurance is a great way to save money and precious time. Amanda Frederick, your State Farm agent in Breckenridge, will make it easy and convenient with your local, fully licensed staff ready to help make sure you're protecting the things that mean the most to you. Their team is ready and knowledgeable in farm insurance, life insurance, business, home, and auto insurance. So stop by or call Amanda Frederick, your State Farm agent on Minnesota Avenue in Breckenridge, or call 643-8511. Washing your car just got a whole lot cheaper. With All Seasons Car Wash Unlimited plans, you can wash your car whenever you want for as little as $29.99 per month. You can even wash your pet at All Seasons Car Wash. So this winter, keep your vehicle and your pet clean with help from All Seasons Car Wash. Conveniently located at 1300 4th Avenue South, next to Tractor Supply Company in Wapadon. To enroll in an unlimited car wash plan, please visit allseasonscw.com. Every bank wants you to open an account. Sign up. Sign right in. Then along come sneaky fees. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> exactly why you should compare your bank to Bell Bank. At Bell, we don't nickel and dime you with fees on things like checking accounts and ATMs. If you hate sneaky fees, switch to a bank you'll love. And give sneaky fees the boot. Bell Bank. Thrivent and Will Ulick provides clarity for where you are today, confidence for where you go tomorrow. Thrivent combines financial expertise with purpose-based planning to help you with where you are today and where you want to be tomorrow. At Thrivent, Will Ulick can help you address a variety of complex subjects to meet your unique wealth management needs, from retirement planning to investment management and estate planning. Thrivent, what are you invested in? Thrive with purpose. Thrivent and Will Ulick supports all area sports teams and wishes them the best of luck. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Then and down the road, Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. At Interstate Engineering, our business is about connections. We connect people to water, communities to counties, and counties to the rest of the world. Our work connects main streets to interstates, and yesterday with the potential of tomorrow. With over 40 years of connecting, our experience and expertise are thanks to the clients we have earned, the trust we have built, and the connections we have made. Interstate Engineering, the professionals you need, the people you trust. No matter what time of year, a farmer's relationship with Red River Grain never changes. Red River Grain works shoulder to shoulder with area farmers, drying, cleaning, and marketing your grain to attain the highest possible profit for you. Red River Grain has been saving farmers for years, rewarding them with reasonable prices on purchases and fair deals when they sell. Talk to Kelly or Brad about the many services they offer. 
Red River Green in Breckenridge. Call 643-3738. All right, I'll turn the music down so we can talk to head coach Margaret Wilson. Margaret, thanks for joining us here on the Red River Grain Post Game Show. Thank you. Thanks appreciate, for being here. I appreciate you coming up as always. You're very kind about doing that. And uh, win or loss, you're up here talking to us, so I appreciate it. Got to so, brag about our girls. Yep, they are good. Uh, Red River Grain Post Game Show. Check out their webpage at redrivergrain.com. Uh, they will get all the latest ag market and ag news for you if you need to check out the markets. Check out RedRiverGrain.com. Margaret, a nice win here for the girls. Uh, number mm -hmm. three from the north, you guys. Number yep. two from the south. Yep. Uh, we, uh, Chad and I, anticipated a tough one. I think you probably did a little bit, too. And 3-0 uh, win. The first set was a surprising 25-8 20, 25 -8 win. Yeah. Yep. And uh, then the next two were a little closer. But Well, we figured that was going to happen. You know, not to say that teams start slow, but some teams just start slow or yeah, have yeah. to get used to the place. They made, created yep. a lot of errors yep. um, in the first game, like hitting out of bounds, but we blocked really well in the first set. Awesome. Yeah, Addie and Matea did a very, very nice job blocking. Yeah, I wrote um, their names down. Yeah, yep. so that was a good, good to see in the first set, but, you know, between sets before we started the second, it was like, are they going to do that all night? Yeah. No, they're going to find their rhythm, they're going to find their speed, yep. and, and they... They made us work for it, you know. They tipped very well, and we're just not awesome at picking up tips yet. If so, I was, it, that's that's a good point. And if I was going to ask you if there's something you could improve with your team right now, would that be it? Yes. That's yes, the coach's about, notes. Huh? Yeah, just about reading, reading the hitter and their arms slowing down, and then going for the ball, like trusting yourself. Go get it. So yeah, stuff we still got to work on. Yep. Um, Kelsey Stroll, I thought, did a nice job picking up tips. Um, you know, the stuff that gets bounced off through the block, there's nothing we can do about that, right? That's right. Our blocker's hands got to change just a little bit. Um, but the stuff that, like the tips, the easy stuff like that, we got to start picking up. Okay? Teams yep. teams notice that. Yep. Good teams notice that. And, they, and they, that's how they notice score against us. So it's definitely something we got to prove on, improve on as we go into the postseason. So eight, I had a... a Unofficially had eight ties in set number two. You come out with a win, 25-21. Uh, and then uh, in set number three, I had nine ties unofficially here is yeah. what I've got written down. Uh, CGB took a timeout at 23-21. You guys were ahead. Oh my and gosh. I looked down to the huddle, <laughs> and you guys were all laughing. You said something. Are it's you going to be able to repeat it or not? I didn't say anything. Uh, when something we were, happened. When it was we funny. Subbing. Everybody was laughing. Oh, it was hilarious. Okay. When we were subbing... Parker Yankee gave the ref a high five, like <laughs> thinking that she she was waving her in, and she gave her a high five as she came out. It was hilarious. <laughs> Ivy Oshock's done that too, but <laughs> it was so funny. I just couldn't control it. I don't know. I don't know what it was. But that, that's good. Yeah. Kept it very light in the it huddle. Did. It I absolutely even did. I was laughing so hard. I, I seen you laughing, and then I look at all the girls, and they're all laughing, and it's like, wow, 23, 21, yeah. and you're all chuckling about yeah. something that had to be had to be funny. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah, Whatever. that's good. It kept it light. Oh, well, that's good. You got a good relationship with your girls, oh, and yeah. uh, it's so yeah. good. So, so in yeah. practice, I just got to say we we've been working on coming from behind. You know, like yep. making the score. Yeah, and you did trail a few 15, times. 20. Yep. All right, we need to come figure out our way out of this. You know, and so it's yep. all about scoring when you're serving yep. and being able to play defense right away. Because when you serve, if it's not a very aggressive serve, mm -hmm. they're gonna have a good attack coming off of it. And I thought Moberg from CGB. She's a great hitter. Moberg's good. Murphy is Murphy's good, too. Murphy's good. My yeah. goodness. So they got some really strong hitters, um, and they could put the ball away. Mm -hmm. So we had to, you know, kind of change that. Like, if we're not going to get a block up on it, we got to dig well. And I thought Sydney Roberts did a very nice job in a serve receive today. She did. Um, so that was, you know, it kept us being able to run an offense. Yep. Uh, again, I, I think you had some good play out of Hanson again tonight at the net. Mm -hmm. uh, and you mentioned Matea Vig at the net. Again, Addie Twidwell had some, uh, she had five kills as well. Abby Johnson led the squad with uh, 10 unofficially. Yep. And uh, she's just I know, a it was away. a good mix, right? So. We're, we're doing some good things. Yep. Addie, Addie Matea, I thought, blocked well. Haley Hanson had some good just net play yes. overall, like yes. offensively and defensively. Um, Kate, Caitlin Kaler 
her spot was open tonight. Her yep. cross court shot was open. So yep. it was nice to see her get some kills that way. Um, and Ivy Oshak, Emma Etzer got in on that second set. Yep. And did some good things too. So definitely a, a well spread out statistical yeah, eight, game. Uh, Abby had 10 kills and then yeah. uh, uh, Vig and uh, Kaler both had with eight there unofficially on the scoreboard. Yeah, up there, that's a so big deal. Everybody's scoring. Yep. That's, Not just one huge. player. So. All right, we got Frazee coming up on senior yes. night. Yeah, senior night. Um, you going to handle that one all right, Coach? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> um, yeah, we played Frazee at the uh, tournament in Barnesville. That was right after Abby got hurt. We oh, beat him yeah. the first set. I don't know what it was. And then the second set went 30 to 28. We won. Oof. So it was a close one. Yep. Um, they're scrappy players. All right. So we, we got to be ready for anything. I'll be here. Three Border Sports will be here. That's excellent. Good to hear. And uh, we'll be here Thursday night for that one. And then you finish up the season right after that, too, I think, next week. Yeah, that's our you? last regular season home game. Yeah, your last regular season So we're season away home. next week. Yep. yep. All right. And playoffs. Holy cow. Oh, already. man. It's already coming. So. Margaret Wilson, congratulations again. Good team win. Thank you very much. All right. Three to nothing win over uh, CGB. And uh, thank you again, Margaret, for showing up. Thank you. All right. Our Red River Grain postgame show with Margaret Wilson here. And we'll... Uh, We'll uh, put the camera back on the crowd, all down visiting after the nice victory. And uh, uh, Chad, again, as Margaret said, just a nice team win there. Everybody oh, played very well. Everybody stepped up too, Joe, you know, yeah. and, and played well. And that's what you want to see at this time of the year, Joe. Yeah, we, we talked about I talked about it with Margaret. You had uh, Abby Johnson with 10. Uh, you had five up there unofficially for Addie Twidwell. You had eight for Matea Vig and eight more kills for Caitlin Kaler on the outside. So, again, the girls spread it out well. <laughs> they spread it out well, Joe, yeah. It's not just one person. It's two, three, sometimes four. I mean, they, yep. they spread it around. I did talk to uh, during the break here, and I did talk to Jessica Moberg. Yep. Uh, I, I had to ask her, Chad, if she had signed oh, on anywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she said she has not decided yet. Okay. She's got some offers. Okay. And maybe it's one of those things where she's decided and just doesn't want to say yet. Yep, that, that could be. But uh, I... She does play basketball, okay. but uh, she said that uh, if she's going to go somewhere, probably it's going to be volleyball. Okay. Right. Um, I congratulate her on a nice game, and uh, no, she, she did they, play well. I tell you, the, the girls from CGB, Joe, they, you know, after that first game, the, the second and third games, they, they, it, was, yep. it was back and forth, Joe. It was, yep. it was back and forth, back and forth, and yep. they played well. Very true. So that's going to wrap it up for our post-game show, Chad. Uh, we're not too sure yet about a coach's show tomorrow yet. Really? Yeah, I'm not uh, All right. Not 100%. I think I'm going to be in the beat field unless oh, we get right. rained okay. out. And, yeah, because uh, it's cooling down. So. I, I haven't got okay. in touch with Raleigh yet. Uh, okay. He and I have played phone tag all afternoon. Like I said, I... You know, if, if it comes to that, Joe, I can. I am. I, I have nothing tomorrow night. So okay. I mean, if I'll let if it comes know. to if it comes to that, I can certainly shimmy over to the brew. So all right, that's where we're at. Live from the brew tomorrow night. I don't, know about, I don't know about going up that ladder. Joe. <laughs> Keep an eye on our Facebook page. <laughs> we'll see if we have our uh, coaches show on Wednesday night. That looks like bogey over there. It we, is. We need to pass along yes. uh, on Knows behalf of three boarders. Yes. Three Boulders Sports Network, uh, on behalf of Brian Watson, Chad Affield, Raleigh Lip, Julie Malk, and myself, uh, condolences to the Boganry family. Uh, Bogey lost his father uh, weekend, to that Sunday, dreaded, yes. dreaded C word. Yes. Uh, took him fast. Yes. And uh, Bogey, uh, a name well known in the Breckenridge area, covered a lot of games for the Cowboys and Cowgirls in the day. Um, Again, our condolences to yes. the uh, Boganry family. It's nice to see Bogey over yes. there. So. Yep. See Anna Erickson over there, too, as yep. well, former cowgirl. Kind of yeah, fun to see the girls come back. Former girls coming back to watch the volleyball team, too, yeah. too. That's kind of nice. That is pretty cool. All right, Chad, I guess that's going to wrap it up. Three wins, or three sets, a zero win for the uh, cowgirls here. Chad, you got anything else before I let uh, you go? We're all good, Joe. All right, buddy, you got to go down and take care of business yeah. here, your other job. Yeah. All right, Joe. All right. For Chad Affield, Brian Watson, the Cowgirls win. I'm Joe Schreiner. Cowgirls win three sets to zero. And uh, we'll take a break, and uh, we'll come right back here. We'll do that first. That one, huh? Yeah. All right. All right. For Chad, for Brian, I'm Joe. For Raleigh and Julie, again, our condolences to the Bulgari family. And good night, everybody, and we'll see you Thursday night right here at Cowgirl Gymnasium. Good night, everyone.